Welcome to Explainer once again, and I'm dealing with uh, the ordinary level maths paper uh, from the Leaving Cert 2008, and it's paper 2, question 6 in particular. Okay, part A of it was uh, evaluate 5 factorial plus 6 factorial. The exclamation marks stand for what is called a factorial expression. To carry out this operation, you multiply by all the numbers of the sequence from the number mentioned down to 1. In other words, for n factorial, we multiply it n by n minus 1, then n minus 2, all the way down to multiplying it by 3, by 2, and finally 1. That's the factorial. In this case, we have two factorials to calculate, and after working out what they give, we need to then sum them up. We can write that all as follows. 5 factorial is 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1, and then we have to add that to 6 factorial, which is 6 by 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1. And we m m uh, first do the multiplications, we get 120 for 5 factorial and 720 for 6 factorial. We add those together and we get 840, and that's the answer to part A. Part B, one shelf of a school library has 70 books. The books are on poetry and on drama, and either hardback or paperback. The following table shows the number of each type, so that's the table that appears in the question. The really, really fundamental thing about working out probabilities. What is it? The following two terms, one over the other. We have two terms. On the numerator, we get the number of possible combinations of a certain type of pattern, which we usually uh, described uh, what it is. And that's all over the total number of possible combinations, regardless of the type. Okay, So that's the fundamental uh, way to calculate probability. So you have to work out all the possible number of any event first, and this will go at the bottom of your fraction. Then you work out the type of event that's of interest, and calculate how many times it can occur, and put that on the numerator. In this question, we've already been given the total number, 70. So we have to work out the amount of times each requested type of event can occur, and divide it by 70. And that'll give us our probability. OK, let's look at the types of events uh, that we're asked about. A student selects one book at random from the shelf, find the probability that the book selected is 1, a paperback poetry book, 2, a hardback book, 3, a poetry book, and 4, not a paperback drama book. We're going to check through the table that we're given and pull out the number of the different types of combinations we're asked about. So the first one, we have to look in only one box to find it out, the paperback poetry box, and that's 17. So we divide 17 by the total number of books, 70, and therefore get the probability to be 17 over 70, which equals 0.43. Okay, we go to uh, part 2 now. Uh, to work out the probability of a hardback book, we need to divide the sum of uh, the, the p number of books in the hardback column and divide by 70 again. It's 37, as you can see in the diagram. So we carry out the calculation like so. 37 over 70 equals 0.529. So 0.529 is the probability of a hardback book. Part 3. If it's the probability of a poetry book this part is after, we get all the poetry books by numbering, uh, by adding the numbers of both paperbacks and hardbacks in the poetry row. And as you can see, there's 40 of those, so, so we divide by 70 once again in order to get the probability. We get 40 over 70, which equals 4 over 7, we get 0.571. So 0 0.571 is the probability of a poetry book. That's part 3. Part 4 now. We have to count everything that's not a paperback and also not a drama book. This means counting everything except the final box. And we get 54 from this for this number, as you can see in the diagram. So we calculate 54 over 70 equals 0 0.771. So 0 0.771 is the probability of it not being a paperback drama book. OK, part C. There are six junior cycle students and five senior cycle students on the student council in a particular school. A committee of four students is to be selected from the students on the council. In how many different ways can the committee be selected if there are no restrictions? Two, a particular student must be on the committee. Three, the committee must consist of two junior cycle students and two senior cycle students. For these first three parts, we have to count combinations again. For one, we disregard the fact about each student belonging to either junior or senior cycle. It doesn't matter for this part. So we count all the students, and that's clearly 6 plus 5, and that's 11. 
So we have to fill a committee of four from a group of eleven. This calls for using a formula which you should know of by heart. It's called the from n choose r formula, which is uh, n over r in big brackets equals n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. In this case, n is equal to 11 and r is equal to 4. So we get 11 over 4 in big brackets, and that's factorial 11 over factorial 4 uh, times factorial 11 minus 4. We can cancel the factorial 7 in the denominator and the part of the numerator that also includes 7 factorial. So we get 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 all over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Some numbers can be cancelled above and below here, so we eventually get the answer to be 11 times 10 times 3, which equals 330. Okay, that's part 1. For part 2, a certain student insists on being on the committee. So really, there's only three available places on it now. And also, there is one less student from the pool of 11 to choose from. So we use the same formula again, but this time with n equal to 10 and r equal to 3. So we get 10 over 3 in big brackets equals uh, 10 factorial all over 3 factorial times 10 minus 3 factorial. Okay, so we can cancel 10 minus 3 factorial is 7 factorial. Once again, we can cancel that from the denominator and the numerator, and we get 10 times 9 times 8 all over 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 10 times 3 times 4, and that equals 120. So that was part 2. Part 3, it's a question of separating. Part 3 is where we have to get the two a combination of two junior cycle students and two senior cycle students on the committee. So it's like separating the four spots on the committee into two pairs of two spots. In the first pair, only junior cycle uh, students are allowed, which means ca uh, calculating a from six choose uh, two formula, because there's only six junior cycle students. In the case of the second pair, it's the five senior cycle students we must choose from, and so it's a from five choose two formula. We then add both results to get our answer. In other words, it's 6 over 2 in big brackets plus 5 over 2 in big brackets. That's uh, what we have to form for this answer. And we get 6 factorial over 2 factorial times 6 minus 2 factorial plus 5 factorial over 2 factorial times 5 minus 2 factorial. So we again do uh, some cancellations so that uh, the answer becomes 6 times 5 over uh, 2 times 1 plus 5 times 4 over 2 times 1. So we get 3 times 5 plus 5 uh, by 2. And that's 25. Okay, so the final part, the committee of four students is chosen at random. Find the probability that all four students are junior cycle students. So the first three parts of this question have been about counting combinations. This last and final part is about probabilities. So it will mean dividing by the total number of possible combinations at some stage. This number was already obtained in part 1. It was 330. So before considering what this section asks for, we can take it that we will need to divide by 330 to get the probability. Now, what this section asks for is counting the number of ways the committee can be formed uh, made of only junior cycle students, and finding the probability of that happening if a random committee is formed. We have to use the uh, choose r from n formula again, with n equal to 6, because that's the number of junior cycle students, and r equal to 4, because that's the number of places in the committee. And so we get 6 over 4 in big brackets is the same as the 6 factorial over 4 factorial times 6 minus 4 factorial. So we expand that out, and we get 6 times 5 over two, uh, 2 times 1, which is the same as 3 times 5, which equals 50. So as mentioned, we need to divide this by 330 to get the answer. So we get 15 divided by 330. That's the same as 1 over 22, which is 0 0.045. And that's the answer. 0 0.045 is the probability that that committee will be formed by uh, all junior um, cycle students. 0 0.045. Thank you.